students uh, in this session we are going to discuss about an experiment on speed control of a uh, universal motor you are actually controlling the speed of universal motor by using one of the device that is known as triac you can see the triac this is your triac uh, the triac is a controlled device it's a bidirectional control okay so we are having uh, three terminals the first one is known as gate terminal uh, then we have mt1 and mt2 these are the three terminals of triac and this is your uh, control for firing circuit so by using uh, this particular angle you can able to control the firing circuit so initially it should kept at 180 degree that means initially we are not able to provide any firing angle okay uh, later you will be varying the firing angle and you will be noticing the speed you will be monitoring the speed by using uh, tachometer you can use the tachometer by using the tachometer you will be measuring the speed and uh, this is your uh, connection that means for gate terminal we have to provide the connection and this is for your uh, mt1 and mt2 cathode okay uh, now uh, this is your input supply input supply you can see the input supply and this will be the output and this is your uh, operating switch initially should be off so whenever after the completion of the connection you can turn off the main switch okay this are these are the basic setup and you can able to measure the voltage and current by using this meter voltage and current you can able to measure uh, first of all you have to do the connections as per the circuit diagram we have the input supply uh, then we'll be having one is to one transformer or you can call isolation transformer then your uh, miniature circuit breaker uh, thereafter you can see the terminals mt1 mt2 and gate terminals and we have ammeter and voltmeter this is your universal motor uh, let's start the connection first of all you have to complete the connection for the gate so you can take the connection from here it should be connected to here that means gate portion is completed you can see from here to here L later we can connect the cathode portion so you have to connect from here to so we have the isolation transformer let us begin with the connection so take the common point that has to be connected to this particular point okay here to here then one more thing from this point 230 that has to be connected to this portion so this portion has been completed now what you can do is from here output this will be the input is already over from the output side it has to be directly connected to any of the cathode portion either you can connect here or here whichever you comfortable you can keep why, why because it is a bi-directional device so let me connect to here this portion see how I am connecting you can also Yes, that portion is over then mt2 this will be the this should be the mt2 mt2 should be connected to ammeter this will be the ammeter terminal you can see the ammeter terminal this portion is completed now from this ammeter you can see the ammeter see from the ammeter it has to be connected to positive of voltmeter i'll be connecting to positive of voltmeter now uh, from the voltmeter negative this will be the voltmeter negative okay voltmeter negative that has to be connected to the source which we have uh, gone through the supply side okay, so this portion is completed so this is your motor connection that means uh, the SCR not SCR triac you can see the triac the triac will be serially connected to the motor triac this is your triac and this will be the motor there is a serial connection between triac and the motor triac and the motor now I would like to operate first and foremost thing you have to turn on the supply for the transformer isolation transformer and the supply to the kit okay that has been done uh, then I have to turn on the supply to the kit that is done later you have to turn on the main supply of the kit so main supply of the kit is turned on now you have to turn on the MCB okay MCB has to be on so make sure that the firing angle alpha that should be at 180 degree here it won't conduct now what is your job means you will be taking different reading so first let me move on to 150 degree i'll be changing to 150 degree you can see now the firing angle that is equal to 180 degree you can make the observation the voltage and current you can you can observe so now whenever firing angle equal to 180 degree you can see the ampere current is equal to 0 0 ampere voltage is equal to 0 volt and the speed is equal to 0 because it is in stationary condition it is not moving now let us take the next reading then alpha is equal to 180 degree you can change alpha is equal to 180 degree now i want to change the firing angle alpha is equal to 150 degree 
right now alpha is equal to uh, 150 degree now you have to measure the voltage voltage is equal to 20 24 volt and the current is equal to 0 0.08 ampere now you have to measure the speed so see whether the motor is moving no it's not moving so you can take the speed n is equal to 0 now i would like to change the firing angle to 120 degree so firing angle is equal to 120 degree you have to measure the voltage. Voltage is equal to 78 volt. Current is equal to 0 0.31 ampere. Now you have to measure the speed. The speed is equal to 2206. So to be wary, you have to make the meter steady. So let us note down 2788 rpm. Now let us make the firing angle equal to 120 degree you have to measure the voltage that is equal to 77 volt the current is equal to 0 0.31 ampere and let us measure the speed so you have to keep keep and hold the speed is equal to 1 to 5 uh, 2877 now i would like to change the firing angle equal to 90 degree so if alpha is equal to 90 degree so i can measure the voltage that is equal to 113 volt current is equal to 0 0.35 ampere now let us measure the speed. Speed equal to 8324. Now I would like to measure the firing angle that is equal to 60 degree. Set the firing angle equal to 60 degree. Voltage you can measure that is equal to 170 volt. Current is equal to 0 0.35 uh, 3 pi ampere. Now let us measure the speed. Speed equal to 11,169 Similarly, you have to change the firing angle from 30 degree to 0 degree. See, you can see. At the same time, readings are getting varied and the speed of the motor is increasing like anything because it's a high speed motor. So, you can see. So, I am getting 12,091. You can observe, it's a high speed motor. See, the speed is increasing. It's, all, it's, a, it's equal to 50. Now, you have to convert the firing angle from 0 degree to 180 degree at the initial position. The MCB should be at the off condition. Uh, the main supply has to be turned off. Then you can switch, then you can switch off this supply. Finally, you need to plot the speed versus uh, firing angle. Okay. As the firing angle increases, the speed is also getting increases. You can observe. Now, you have to tabulate all the readings. You will be varying the uh, firing angle like 180 take from 180 degree only 180 degree you will be getting uh, speed is equal to zero and they have uh, in 120 degree you will be getting the uh, other speeding so as the firing angle reduces you can see that the firing angle reduces speed getting increased so both are inverse relation